Welcome back to Library Chess YouTube channel. Today's class, we'll be learning how to make this beautiful Batik illusion dress. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you would like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so making these bodies is very simple. I have my fabric folded into two separately. This is the first is for the front and then the last two is for the back okay so the measurement you're going to need to fold this is your underbust measurements or wherever it is you want to break this bat wing design so for me it's around my underbust measurements my underbust is 15 so i'm going to add one inch seam allowance to sew it back to the lower body so i have 16 inches in length and then the width you're going to use to fold this is your center back to where your sleeve is going to stop remember it's like a kimono cut so it's around the elbow area so you can just measure your shoulder then after taking your shoulder measurement then you take the measurements of your sleeve together so that i can have them together so after having them together like this i'm going to be having a zipper at the back okay so for my zipper i'm going to need one inch so I'm just going to measure that one inch zipper allowance here for my zip so in order to to eliminate zipper bulge i'm just going to take like a dart on the lower part so you can see that i'm measuring that one inch on the lower part of the center back and then i'm going to connect it like that so by the time i fix my zipper this is going to take away whatever brush that I may have. So ideally, you should shift your front like this to cut because the front does not have a zipper. But because there is like an illusion here and the way I want to cut it, I want to cut the center front open so that it's going to be easy for me to sew my illusion. So I'm just going to make them on the same level. But I'll bear it in mind that this, or you can just make this like, half an inch okay so i will need half an inch for sewing my center front back because i want to cut it out so i'm leaving that allowance that half an inch allowance here like this so this is what i have so i'm just going to bear it in mind that this half an inch the first half an inch for my center front is what i'm going to use to sew it back so for me not to forget i'm just going to reel it down so if you have watched my video on illusion deep illusion neckline you understand what i'm talking about better so once you have an illusion that is a bit deep and you want your v to be sharp it's easier for you to just cut it on the center front before you sew it makes the work easier for you so this is what i'm going to use to sew it back because i'm opening the center front and remember i'm cutting directly on my fabric assuming i'm cutting on a pattern i can just leave it and cut it out then when i'm transferring on my fabric i'll add the half an inch but because i'm cutting directly on my fabric that's why i'm including the half an inch now so that i'm not going to have any shortage so this is what i have the next thing i need to do now is to cut out my neck width so the neck width that i'm going to work with is three and a half inches so i'm starting from that my allowance so and the neck depth that i'm working with so for my initial neck depth i'm going to work with around around five inches okay so after measuring the five inches now you can connect it with your with your ruler with your curved ruler and then i'll have it like this so for the illusion that i'm going to have in front i'm going to measure extra four inches which is going to leave it around nine inches depth so now using my the curved side of my ruler i'm going to blend it in with the neckline that i have earlier so you can see me trying to blend this in okay in form of a she shape and at the same time i want to blend it with what is coming earlier okay so this v shape that you have here i'm going to be replacing it with a net this v that we have here so now this is what my front neckline looks like for my back neckline i'm going to use the same neck neck width of three inches three and a half inches and then for the neck depth of the back so i'm just going to mark where my neck width is 
so that it's going to reflect on the back i want the back to be in form of a v shape so it's going to be a very deep v so for the neck depth at the back i'm just going to make it around 10 inches or thereabouts okay so you can redraw your 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 zipper allowance like this don't worry it's a free test so it's not going to be tight or anything then the deep V is going to be around 11 inches which is here so using my curve driller I'm going to connect it like this okay so this is the neckline for the back so now to create my shoulder slope I'm going to to close it up again and then on the head here i'm going to go down by one and a half inches and then i'll connect this to my neck width okay so you can cut this on your pattern before you cut on your fabric it makes it work easier so that the necessary allowance you need to hide you just hide it when you're transferring to your fabric so now I'm cutting out my my shoulder slope first. Then I'm going to cut out my my neckline for the front. So this is what it looks like. And then this illusion part, I'm just going to cut it out. And then I'm going to replace it with a net. Okay, so remember this half an inch is not part of it, so I just need half. So I'm just going to cut out the half scale. So it's just going to be like a half scale body. So I'll go ahead and cut this on my net. So when I'm cutting on my net, I'm going to put it on fold. And then for the front piece, I'm going to open the center front. So to join it back okay that's why i have this half an inch allowance to sew it back so by the time i sew it back i'll have my exact measurement and when you open this out this is what it's going to look like so this is what it's going to look like then this area now we're going to replace it with our with our net so that's for the front and then for the back i'm going to cut out my zipper allowance first and then I'm going to cut out my back neckline as well so this is what the back look like the back of this and that's what the front look like so I'll go ahead now and cut my illusion so I'm going ahead to cut my illusion so i don't have a net of this color so i'm just going to be using this brown net for it okay so this is what it looks like it's cut on through that you can see that i added my seam allowance to join this back on the side so now you cut your lining exactly the same way you have cut your main bodies if you are going to be fixing lining to this but i'm not fixing lining to mine i'm just going to explain to us how we can fix our lining so the next thing i'm going to do now is to remove the pin on my illusion and then I'm going to go ahead and sew this illusion to the front bodies. Okay. So it's going to be here. I'll sew to this side like this. And then after sewing this side, I'm going to shift it to the other side and sew it. And then I'm going to close this first. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead now and sew my illusion to this side first then after sewing this side i'm going to close this and then sew the other side as well okay so i'm gonna have to sew it to the first part i just want to show us this you can see that it is attached now so this is what we have so to sew the second side i'm just going to lay this first this other side on it like this and then i'm going to sew it from the hem so when i get here i'm going to separate this now and then sew the other side just like this okay then you can now cover it up with your lining okay so i'm gonna head to sew it and you can see what it looks like so i've sewn it on the other side you can see my seam line so when you open it up this is what it looks like 
your v is going to be really really sharp which is why i like this method you can see how sharp the v is and if you don't want your illusion to be this wide you just need to measure that part so this is what we have so far so we want to cover it up with the lining you go ahead now and use your lining to cover it up by just doing it exactly like this and then use them to turn each other and if you want to use a bias so you just need to sew your bias like this and then use it to flip this over so that it can be neat so i'm just going to flip this like this now and then top stitch on it okay so after this the next thing we need to do now is to place the rungs the, the right side against the right side for the lining and the main fabric and then we we'll go ahead and sew it on the shoulder so i'll do that now you're not going to touch the side just the shoulder i'll do that then i'll bring you back for us to continue so i've gone ahead to join the shoulder together and then i also top stitched the neckline so you can see i just folded in the allowance and top stitch so when you're doing your splits use a bias because we want this to be as neat as possible so this is what we have so far and then on this side i also hemmed it in on this side so by the time you fold it you can see that this side is also neatly hemmed as well as the neckline so now the next thing is for us to work on the lower part so for the lower part, I have it folded. This is the back and this is the front. So here, remember, we are starting from our under bust area. So you take your measurements around your under bust. That's where you stop. For me, it's 28 inches. So right by, by 4 is 7 inches. So I have 7 inches here. We are going to be adding a dart. If you are using a stretchy fabric, you don't need a dart. But if you are not using a stretchy fabric, you may need to add a dart of 1 inch. So you add that to your measurements and then you add your seam allowance. So from there now, remember that was 14 inches for me. So from there, you are going to take your hip measurement if it's a dress and if it's a blouse, you stop where you want it to stop. So for me, my hip is 26 inches and then on my hip, I'm going to take my round hip measurement. My arm dip is 40, 40 divided by 4 is 10 and then I'm going to add my seam allowance to that as well. So you just connect it, just like you cut your normal, your normal skirt block. I'm just using this for the purpose of this tutorial so after connecting it like this the next thing is to come in with your scissors and then cut this out so this is what I have so for the back I'm going to open it up for my for my zipper allowance okay so now this is what I have. If you had your zip, say uh, your your dart allowance, you need to take your dart first. But I'm just going to cut off the allowance for the dart in. I'm not going to be adding a dart to this. One. I'm going to cut off the one inch that I added for that allowance. So now to fix this to the upper part, you can see me. I've opened up the skirt now. So I'm going to bring in the the upper part now this is the front bodies front bodies against the front bodies then you're going to notch the midpoint of your skirt so once you notch the midpoint of your skirt you're going to match it together the midpoint facing the midpoint and then i'm going to hold that with a pin before i start to pleat so you can either pleat this or you gather it whichever one you want to work with so once it is held now the next thing is for you to pleat this excess remember we have excess on the front so you are going to pleat this excess to be exactly on the same level as your waistline here so you can either gather it or you pleat it so i'm going to go ahead and pleat this now to fit into this i'll do the same thing for the other side likewise the back remember our back is in two pieces now so i'm just going to notch this to show that this is the waist area so you're going to separate it and then you're going to sew in your zipper then after sewing in your zipper the excess that you have here you're going to pleat it to fit into this for both sides so i'll do that now and bring it back to show us what we have 
so i've gone ahead to pleat it you can see that i just had three pleats each on each side so this is what the front looks like and then for the back i have pleated the back as well so your place is not going to get into your zipper allowance let me turn it to the wrong side so that we can see it better okay so i had three pleats on each of the back as well so after pleating the waistline i just went ahead to close my zipper allowance a bit so now you're going to fix your zipper on this remaining part so the last thing to do now is to fold them on each other that's right side facing right side and then we're going to go ahead and then close the side so this is what we we'll have using the zipper allowance that the same allowance that you left you're going to go ahead and run your stitch so now depending on how much opening that you want on your side you can leave you can sew it up to your waistline but if you don't want to show much when you raise your hand so you can just measure like two inches or you can just measure whatever slip opening that you want and then you just sew up to that point so when you're sewing it when you finish sewing on your waistline so you just sew this into this part now remember we have already hem it so you just sew it in the way that you're sewing it that so that it's going to be neatly closed and then by the time you raise your hand you don't have so much sewing but if you don't mind you can just sew it up to your waist up to your half length your underboss sorry that's where you joined your skirt part to it so i'll go ahead now and run my stitch on this side for both of them and then you fix your zipper and that's that's it so i've gone ahead to join it on this side and then i hemmed it on the lower part it's a short stretch as you can see so i just joined it like two inches let me turn it to the wrong side so that we can see how i closed it up so like i was saying when you want to close it up you just curve your hand like you're connecting it to your sleeve area so it depends on how open you want this part to be if you don't want it this open you can go up just make sure by the time you're closing it you close it into your sleeve like this so now this is what it looks like i decide to beautify this with whatever it is that you have so i'm just going to use my trimming here to beautify it on the waistline area and i'll take it to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like okay so this is what the dress look like on the mannequin so for this illusion part you may not add illusion to yourself so if you are not adding illusion you don't need to slash it at the center front you just cut out your neckline and the illusion may not be as wide as this but i just want mine to be a bit obvious as we have seen so you may also consider using the exact color of your fabric for your net if you don't want it to be this obvious and this is what the ham area look like you can see that it is a bit it's not so big but at the same time it is a bit wide and this is what the full view of this dress look like i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye